Hey everybody, today is America's Independence Day, and what could possibly be more American than Japanese RPGs? Let me qualify that. JRPGs were inspired by CRPGs, which were in turn inspired by tabletop games. What could possibly be more American than an idea being shared and interpreted and intermingled with other cultures and then eventually becoming something greater than it used to be? To make it a little more American, let's talk about some JRPGs made in America by independent developers. American independent JRPGs. Huh? This isn't necessarily a review of these games, but I wanted to talk about them and shine a spotlight on them because they look pretty good to me and I think you guys will be interested too. So let's go. So of course when it comes to indie RPGs made in America, the word on the lips of everyone for the past few years has been Undertale. Undertale came out in September of 2015 and made so many waves. Undertale was developed by Toby Fox of Massachusetts. The game was originally released for PC and OS X and eventually brought to Linux, then PlayStation 4 and Vita, and now there's even a version coming to Nintendo Switch at some point. The fact that this game was made by just one dude in three years is absolutely staggering. I've lost count of the number of times I've been told I need to play the game, and I've been told that I need to not look up anything about the game's story before playing it, and I haven't. So I'll say the same to you. Don't look up anything else about the game, just go give it a shot. And to sweeten the deal, the game is currently half off for the Steam Summer Sale. Shadows of Adam is a gorgeous pixel art romp currently available for PC and coming to the Nintendo Switch sometime later on. The game focuses heavily on character development and features solid turn-based RPG mechanics, and it is, of course, drop-dead gorgeous. And as an added bonus, the game is currently also half off on the Steam Summer Sale today and tomorrow, which is a screaming deal. Cosmic Star Heroine is a sci-fi RPG by Zavoid Games. The game is also fantastic looking, inspired by the likes of Final Fantasy VII, Chrono Trigger, and Mass Effect. Cosmic Star Heroine features 11 playable characters and eschews random encounters instead opting for scripted encounters. The game was originally released for Windows and PlayStation 4 in 2017, with a possibility of a Nintendo Switch version in the future. Cosmic Star Heroine is also currently half off on the Steam Summer Sale until the end of July 5th. Battle Chasers Night War is a JRPG with its tropes on backwards. Based on the comic book series of the same name and inspired by fantastic RPGs from the past, Battle Chasers is a visually stunning piece of art to behold. The game was developed by Airship Syndicate in Texas and has been released on all major current platforms. And I'm starting to see a trend because this game is also half off today and tomorrow for the Steam Summer Sale. And then finally, Saturday Morning RPG is a game that was developed by Mighty Rabbit Studios in North Carolina. The game is a quirky, turn-based RPG that was originally released on iOS in 2012, but has been since released on PC, OS X, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and most recently Nintendo Switch earlier this year. The story of this game is episodic, with a villain of the week sort of structure that harkens back to Saturday morning cartoons, thus the name. The game is chock full of nods and references to 80s and 90s TV and movies. If you're into that sort of thing, and I know I am, then it looks like this is a pretty great way to fill out your in the RPG collection. So up to this point I've been talking about games that are already out, but here are some upcoming games that I'm keeping my eye out for, some of which are just around the corner. Gravistar is a turn-based RPG that is still in early development by Studio Atma, which is a company based here in Seattle, Washington. In fact, I first found out about Gravistar when I bumped into one of the devs during my commute to work. How cool is that? The game is still being worked on, but it looks gorgeous. Soul Saga by Disaster Cake is also based out of Washington, and this time we've got a polygonal RPG with turn-based battles that occurs on the same map that you walk around in. The game has been in beta for a while, but the early access build will be available sometime this month. And lastly, for something a little bit different, we've got a rock, paper, scissors style strategy RPG featuring, well, rocks, paper, and scissors. Coming from Nexus Games in Tennessee, Chromasia was a zero-budget game built over two and a half years and was a labor of love that is coming to Steam on July 11th. The game aims to deliver an accessible strategy RPG experience and a dark plot juxtaposed against comedic writing. So I hope that something I talked about today will inspire you to go and check out some American-made RPGs on this American-made holiday. So thank you for your time, guys, and I'll see you next time.
I'd like to send a special thank you to The Abyss for allowing me the use of his music in my videos. He has a new album out, which you should definitely check out on Bandcamp and on Spotify. Follow the links in the description. And if you have music that you'd like to have featured on the show, please send me a line at SuperDerekRPGs on Twitter.